Hello everyone and welcome back to Web Knowledge. In this video, I am having GCC 6010, which is a UC plus convergence device. And today I am going to show you how to configure IPPVX features and configure them with the endpoints. So as you can see here, we have GCC networking modules, firewall modules. Network nodes and PVX module. So by default, the PVX module is disabled. So we have to just enable this option first and then enter the IP address for PVX. So I'm giving IP address in the range of router range. So I'm just giving 80.2 and enable. So now PBX module is enabled. Now we can enter now or we can go through the setup wizard. So I am going through the setup wizard. Now on the first page, we have the option of extension range. So we can define the extensions and the by default range is 1002.6299. So we can change it. By disabling this option. And we can set the extension as per our wish. I am starting with extension 200. And creating 10 extensions. And now setting the password for registration. So I'm setting the password for zip registration and as well setting the wave password. Now on the second page, we have trunks and roots. We do not have any trunk, so just save it. And the setup is completed. And now click on use now option. So this is the dashboard of IPPVX. And here we have 27 GB space for recording cdr and other spaces and in the system information we can have the system firmware version information and in the network option we have ip address and active calls we can see the active calls here now in the extension option, we can see the extensions, we can modify the extensions, or we can add or delete the extensions. So if you want to add new extensions or further more extensions, just click on add option and select single or patch to create single or multiple extensions. And then give the start range of the extension and zip password. And if you want to modify some settings in particular extension, just add it the extension. Or if you want to modify all the extension, just click on edit all zip. And here you can modify. Like I'm disabling video FEC, audio FEC, and setting the priority codex. So in my all the setups, I'm using PCMU, PCMA, E.729, and H.264 video codex. And 
and disable voicemail option generally no one use this features it is a rare feature so just disable it and save so in this way you can modify settings for all the extensions now click on apply changes and if you have any zip trunk or any isp trunks you can connect here and for that you can create outbound rules and inbound rules similarly we have call features like multimedia meeting ivr voicemail ring group paging intercom call queue speed dial and feature calls list and in the advanced call features we have pickup groups dial by name isha call back scheduled call fax sending announcement center announcement emergency calls call restrict operator panel and time condition routing then messaging option for im settings live chat and message broadcasting then we have pbx settings where we can modify extension range we can enable strong password or disable then we can change the zip port tcp tls ports and here we can upload custom prompts for ivr call queues and here we can change the priority for uh, storage like we can set the priority for gdms nas usb sd card or local and if you have nas storage then you can enable and configure your nas storage path here so that the all recording will be stored on NAS path, NAS drive. Similarly, we have option of SFTP. So if you run any SFTP application on a dedicated system or server and give the details here, then the recording will be transferred on that server. Or you can take the schedule backup as well. And in the USB disk and card management, you can manage the files over here stored in USB disk or SD card then in the system setting option we can set the threshold value for CPU usage or data partition here we can change ports and we can set the GDMS URL or external host. And in the security settings, we can define static defense rules, typical firewall settings, fail to ban, data encryption. Similarly, it supports as well uh, like UCM series. It also supports LDAP server, so you can configure LDAP phone book. Then it supports as well HA. So the PBX or GCC device can be configured in HA mode to give high availability. Then, then in context option, we can upload the context management. We can manage the context and we can upload external context as well here. And we can manage them by department as well. And we can assign the pri uh, privilege for the context. And in the maintenance option, we can create multiple users and give them privilege. What 
uh, they can manage in the PBX. Then we can see the operation log as well. Then we can take syslogs from the device and we can see system events on the particular event list. And similarly, we can upgrade the firmware or we can take the backup from backup option and we can sync the data on SFTP on a time based condition. Then we can uh, reboot or enable the cleaner to clean the internal storage or external storage on uh, automatic cleaning or manual base. And in the network troubleshooting part, we can take the logs and we can do IP ping, trace route. And here in CDR option, we can check the calls and we can take a recording files over here. And the integration part, here we have API configuration like QCM series and then. Uh, AMI configuration, Asterix management interface, ETI server, CRM, it supports Sugar CRM, V Tiger CRM, Joho Telephony, Salesforce, Active CRM, Odoo CRM. And as well, it supports PMS integration with the H Mobile, Mitel, HSC, PMS, ID, S, PMS, and local PMS. Also supports Q matrix integration. So these are the features of the PBX side. Now I'm going to register extension 200 on Wave application. So I have Wave application and I'm giving URL of the PBX 192.168.1.1. And the port number 8090, and the count is 200, and the password for wave is admin at 4321. Now click on login. So we are able to log in, and from here we can see the contacts as a local extensions and we can also see the external contact if we upload in the UCM in LDAP server or external contacts option of contacts. Similarly we can make the calls from here we can do audio calls or video calls. So we have the option for video call and audio calls. Then we can see the meeting list here and we can create meeting room or if the, there is any meeting room so we can do that and join so we can initiate the meet now we can schedule a meeting we can join a meeting then in the application option we can see the cdr follow me voicemail recorded files fax file said call appearance fax sending call queue schedule call Call survey VPK. So the VPK is the new option through which we can uh, enable VLF keys and speed dial option. And if the extension is available or busy, then we can have we can see the status. So the VPK is uh, now available here in the right side. And if we go here. So we can see the status of extension like currently the extension is not registered so it is showing offline. These are the features of GCC based IPPBX. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and like if you like this video.